Hey. Hey, you've not been up all night, have you? I'm just trying to reply to messages. I was up late last night, Skyping Zidane. He went and told my cousins, Shazia and Dean, and because of their big mouths, it's gone around the whole family. I'll make some coffee. Thanks. You need sleep, not coffee. You know, I need to help my gran. There's loads of cases online of women being pushed to violence because of abusive husbands. You look at this one, it's in Miami. And you are going to drive yourself nuts doing this. But she's locked up. She's all alone because of him. Yes, and we will do our best to get her out at her first appearance later. You need to leave this to him, Ran. And when we are a court... I'm not stupid. I'll keep my mouth shut. Good. Because from now on, we need to play things by the book. You will bring her home, won't you? I will do my absolute best. And Yasmin's not just the client. You know how fond I am of her. Thanks. I'm so glad we've got you on our side. You will be able to get a bail, won't you? You was that far from pregnant, Arlene, that far. My dad, the sweetest, most harmless bloke that ever walked the planet. Yeah, but Yasmin, I mean, she's practically a saint. I mean, I'd, I'd think of her as a Asian Emily Bishop. Yeah, it was all part of the act, innit? You never know what goes on behind closed doors. No, you certainly don't. Give the keys to me cab, quick, smart. Wow, what's the panic now? Oh, we're off to see a posh new nursery for Oliver, but I fell asleep because I was listening to you banging on all night. Steve? What? Come on, hurry up, please, because I can't be late. I need to make a good impression. Good luck with that, bad puss. Hey, you should have stayed to yourself, you muppet. Hey, well, ah, oh, Oliver, what have you done? That don't do that. Bad enough as it is without smelling of your spit. Well, it won't shift. It's probably an edible ink. What am I going to do? Um, tell them you're auditioning for cats. <laughs> you're not helping. Well, just rearrange the appointment. I can't, can I? Leanne's dead impressed. I've organised this. I can't cancel it now. She'll be already there. Get your makeup bag out. No, I don't need makeup. Yeah, this calls for a maximum strength hangover foundation. Sit down there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I barely heard Yasmin raise her voice in anger, let alone. She nearly killed me dad, Roy. Yeah, but he's stable now. Stable? He's only just regained consciousness, silly. Oh, yeah. Oh, love, shouldn't you be at work? Oh, Eileen said she was here. I just wanted to say that I've got time off for the bill here. Oh, well, you could have text. I wanted to see my dad, check he's OK. You all right, Roy? Oh, very well, thank you. Well, what can I get for you? Well, I don't even want anything, really. I only came in because I was going to swing for Gemma's mother. Honestly. She swans in, late, smelling suspiciously of cider, if you please, and she says to me she's had an apple on the way to work, and I thought to myself, funny smelling apple that. Your dad's still not dead if you're interested. Tim, what a shame. Oh, let's count. All right, right, come on, let's go somewhere else, All I know is that your pig of a father has been tormenting my grand for months. No wonder she snapped. That's how we're going to play it, is it? We're not playing anything. But when the truth comes out, the whole world will know what a monster your dad is. Try to kill him. That's you enough for now. All right, just... Down. Remember your heart, Dad. Joe, you have no idea what he's really like. This really... He's been manipulating... Is he not all in the royal family business? Put your hands in a black in his name. That's oh, enough! Now, if you insist on addressing each other in this aggressive manner, I suggest you do it elsewhere. Blimey, it's all going on in here. Tell me about it. We'll have our day in court. Yeah, so will we, love. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Have you said anything to Tim yet? How can I? You know how close he is to his dad. Calf has no previous history of offending whatsoever. And there is no likelihood that she will abscond. And she didn't flee the scene after the incident itself, and she surrendered to the police voluntarily. And she has strong family ties in the community. All he's doing is proving that she fooled everybody all these years. They can't keep her locked up. She won't cope. Look at them. Furthermore, 
Due to Mrs. Metcalf's age and the medical report that confirms she's suffering with shock. Shock? It's rich, isn't it? Tim, just be quiet. Uh, taking into account the factors put forward, I submit that the prosecution has failed to establish any grounds for refusing bail. And as such, my client should be granted bail. Thank you for your submissions. I've considered them carefully, but I'm satisfied that if released, there are substantial grounds to believe that Mrs. Metcalf may fail to attend her trial due to the seriousness of the offence. Furthermore, I believe that she may try to contact the complainant as she indicated that she wished to do so when interviewed by the police. In my view, there are no measures that mitigate those circumstances sufficiently. As such, bail is refused. And you will remain in custody until your trial. Yes. This is a nightmare. She's been to court. How'd you get on? The judge was terrible. Really? She was denied bail. They took her away. Oh, well, I suppose with Jeff being hospitalised, it's difficult. She's a victim of domestic abuse. There's no way that she'd hurt anyone unless she was provoked, and she was for months. I bet you wish she drank. An orange juice is fine. And a pint for me, please. Come out. You know, Imran made it quite clear that she's not a risk. She's a woman in her 60s. Pillar of the community. It's not like there were a couple of kids caught up in a brawl. So are you saying that um, things haven't been right between them for a while? Things have never been right with that creep. He's a lying, manipulative bully. Sean, you won't believe some of the stuff he's done. Like what? I tried to persuade my grand to break up with him because I knew that something like this would happen. Now it's too late and she's in prison. It's so wrong. Things that go on over the road, eh? You need to be careful what you say. You know what a blabbermouth Sean is. Anyway, you, you heard what Imran said about us needing unbiased witnesses. He said I shouldn't say anything to Gran's friends. I hope Sean does gossip. The more people who know the truth about Jeff, the better. She got denied bail. Good news, eh? Yeah. Now you can focus on getting better. How are you feeling? Well, I'm not out of the woods yet, son, but I'm getting there. Right, well, I've got your magazine and Sally sent me some great. Thanks. So Imran tried to claim that she was old and frail, yeah. but not too old and frail to stab you in the neck and whack you over the head with a wine bottle, was she? Anyway, the judge wasn't buying any of it, so she's on remand. Imagine what it'd be like if they let her go. She'd be walking around larger than life after what she did. At least now you can go home and she won't be there. It won't be home, will it? Not anymore. Dad, she tried to kill you. She wants locking up for a very long time. I just feel so sad it's come to this. I still love her. Oh, don't pity her. She's not worth it. But the neighbours are having a field day. Who cares what the neighbours think? You're the victim of a vicious attack. <laughs> this mortise isn't decent, Nick. Why are you changing it? I lost my keys. And there's been a spate of burglaries. I'm just a nervous person, and I don't want anyone getting in here who shouldn't. Well, in that case, uh, I can upgrade it for you. Not cheap. But it'll be like Fort Knox when I'm finished. Good. Keep all the scumbags out. Go on, then. Get cracking. Sure about this? Yeah. Only... It's quite a big statement, actually, changing the locks. I want to make a big statement. Go and live somewhere else, Jeff. Well, he might argue you're being unreasonable. He ruined Grand's life. He can't expect to just walk back in here to find his pipe and slippers waiting for him. I know. I know. I'm just... He's not the one in prison. And he'll just spin it, won't he? Like, he's a victim and this is his home. This was our house before she met him. Getting his feet under the table here was all part of his scheming. I'm just saying he might not take this lying down. He's an abusive ex. She owes him nothing. And when she gets out and starts rebuilding her life, I want her to have her house and her business here waiting for her. It's great she's got you. She might not be coming home anytime soon. If Jeff's acting all innocent now, I will make sure he gets what he deserves. It's 
Good to see you. How are you? I'm... I'm fine. Grant, I've been desperate to talk to you. What happened? I feel like I... I've... talked over all that enough. Well, not with me. Grant, I know what he was like, okay? You can tell me anything. What did he do to make you do this? Let's not talk about that, please. Just tell me about you. You thought he was going to kill you? Uh, yeah. Yes. What I did was wrong. What? No, no. You were scared. He was abusing you. That's a strong word. It's the truth. I've seen it in him. Uh, yeah. He abused you, and he made you scared for your life. Please, I've told you. I don't want to talk about this. All right, but you are going to tell them in court, yeah? You're going to tell them what he's done to you? What I say is up to me. Now, let's talk about something else. What else is there to talk about? What he did to you? What I did to him. What you did was perfectly understandable, given how scared you were. No. No. You are wrong, whatever he did to me. I should not have reacted like that. Oh, Gran, you were the victim of abuse. Just stop! Perhaps this is a bad Wait, idea, Gran, come on, come on, please, just talk to me. Gran! Right, this is me. Well, at least I think it is. I keep getting lost in this flipping place. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for the lift. Yeah, um, give my love to Oliver, yeah? Yeah, will do. Well, Jeff. Steve. I'm in a multi-story car park, Dad. You all right to walk? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me get that. I heard about Oliver. Poor kid, stuck in there. I know that feeling. Yeah, well, Friday wasn't much of a celebration, but we can do something nice for your birthday another time, can't we? Well, I'm just glad to make it to 70, really. We'll touch and go in there for a minute. Don't joke about it. It's better to laugh than cry. We've done enough crying over her. Oh, come on, Dad. Oh, sorry, too much information. Listen, you can talk to me about it, though, don't you? No. I mean it. Yeah, I know you do, but I think I'm a bit too old school for that share and his care and stuff, don't you? Yeah, but you're bound to be a bit down after what she did to you. I just want to get home. All right. Well, you can stay with me and Sal for a bit. No, let us look after you. I don't like the idea of you being on your own. So what? You prefer me being racked with guilt about imposing on you and Sally? You wouldn't be. No, Tim, please, I mean it. I just want to go home, my home, put all this behind me. OK. OK. I'll be fine. Like you say, I'll only be next door. So, well, the keys don't work. Yeah, give it a Trouble with your key there, Jester? Oh, hang on. That'll be because we changed the locks. You changed the locks? This is my house. It's my grand's house and all. And until you tell the truth about what you did to her, you're not coming in. What are you on about? Your grand tried to kill him? In self-defence, because she was scared for her life. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are you tired of hearing how your dad abuses women, are you, Tim? Don't you talk about him like that. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it? Um, Alia, this is stupid. You can't do this. It's done. Look, can we just talk inside? No. If you want to talk, you can do it out there. You are never coming near me or any of my family ever again. Come on, now, let's go on. Okay, he's going to knock that door down. Oh, there, there. I'd love to see that. You've got a customer, eh? Hey? Oh, he can wait. Ryan and Ali are besieged oh, number six. Your Tim doesn't seem best pleased. You can shut yeah. it for a start. Open this door or I'm going to break it down. <laughs> No, I would love to see that. No, go on. Go on, put your shoulder through the glass, big man. All right. Tim! Don't you dare. Look, Ali, I know you're upset. Upset? Yeah, but locking me out of my own house when I've just come out of hospital. That's right. Keep painting yourself as the victim. My gran has been suffering for months. That's simply not true. Yeah, of course it's not. You're not coming in. Look, this isn't helping anyone. Sally's right. Look, we need to find a way through this. Just let me no. in. No chance. Hey, come on, you're meant to be the great Magnifico. Surely you know a trick where you open locked doors, or do you only lock people in boxes? Oh, hey, you might have to jiggle it. Go on, jiggle it, Jeff. Right. Tim! Come on, you two, let's go back home. This isn't helping anyone shouting in the street. Yeah, we're gonna go home and call the police. Yeah, you do that. Right. Why don't you tell them what you did, Jeff? Alia, 
All I did was try and stop her from destroying herself with the booze. That's a lie. You're a liar! Come on, Dad. Sorry about all this, Sally. Hopefully it won't be too long. No, it's fine. Ali seems to forget that I was the one at death's door in hospital. <laughs> well, she's family, isn't she? You don't disbelieve a member of your own family, do you? Right, the police are on the way. What'd you do that for? I told you not to. You're more entitled to be around there than they are, Dad. They've committed a crime. Yeah, and getting the police involved is only going to rile everything up again. <laughs> well, things already riled, don't you? We're not going to let them get away with this. Oh, I know, but I just wish it was over. Well, it will be as soon as that mad cow's in prison. Tim. No, Sally, don't you start. Right, if you two are arguing, I'm going to take this through there. <sighs> Look, I'm not starting anything. I just think you've got to stop all this hate. I'm calling them mad. That isn't helping, is oh, it? Oh, right, so you can't call anybody mad now, can you? Well, it's not politically correct enough. It's got nothing to do with being politically correct. Sally, she stabbed him in the neck and whacked him over the head with a bottle. If that's not the definition of mad, I don't know what is. So I let you out then, Grandad? Yeah, I had to get out of there. Hospital radio's really gone downhill. <laughs> Anyone know why there's a police car outside? Right, let's get this sorted. Um, get what sorted? Ali has gone off a rocker. What? Hey, wait there, I'm coming with you. Faye, give us a hand, would you? No, Dad, you stay here. It's far too stressful. No chance. It's my house. Look, just calm down. Don't get wound up. You've both got heart conditions. Talk to yourself. It's good for you. Right, about time. Here we go. How many of you lost in Shona? She back. Just, if you see her, ring me. David, just wait. What's that about, then? Don't ask me. No one ever tells me anything. Right, you need to sort this out. OK, Mr Metcalf, what seems to be the problem? Don't call me Mr Metcalf, Craig. You know my name. Yeah, I know everyone's name, but in a dispute, I need to keep neutral. Why can't you just call me Tim? Look, just tell me what's up. Nothing's up, Craig. Oh, apart from him being a sick and twisted abuser. If we're going to talk about sick, love, let's talk about your psycho gran. All right, psycho all right, let's all just calm down, shall we? Captain Magnifico there. When you ask him about his gaslighting trick, it's a showstopper. You keep out of this. They've locked him out of his house. This isn't his house. He stole it off my grand. What? Alia, can we please talk about this? He hasn't stole anything. You're the one that changed the flipping locks. He nearly died. Tim, just calm down. We are going nowhere to he's in jail. Oh, you just got out of hospital? This oh, is me dad's house. Open the door. Thank you, Ali. Uh, Miss Nasia. He's only coming in while you're here. When you go, you're kicking him out. There's only one person getting kicked out. Mr. Metcalf. Mr. Uh, yeah. uh, Connor. Connor. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Dude, we live together. You've literally handed me my post. Craig, just call us by our first names. No one's going to be upset. If we're all sure. Yes, yeah. of course. I don't. Yeah, that. Okay. Turns out we can agree on something. <laughs> yeah, and you can also stop pretending that you don't know what's going on here. You know what my grand's been through. What your grand's been through? What about what my dad's been through? She did nothing she wrong. She tried man. to kill him. Right, okay, you're you're right, right, right. If you all start shouting again, I'll start making arrests and we'll just do this down at the station, okay? We just want this sorted. Okay, well, it is my turn to speak now. Yes, Alia, you are right. I do know the situation and I know this has been your family home for a number of years. Exactly. However, I also know that Mr. Metcalf. Jeff. Jeff currently co owns half the house. Therefore, legally, you have no right to be here. What? And you certainly didn't have any right to change the locks and lock him out. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Tim. This is wrong, this. Look, if you hand over the keys now, we don't have to do anything else about it. No. Alia, please, I think he's being very fair. Yeah, too fair. He should be arresting you. No, hey, hey are you going to stand for this? Look, Alia, whatever has happened, this is not the time to make a stand. If I arrest you now, may I harm the defence of your granny court? No, no, hey, no, Alia. We cannot let him win. We won't. I don't want to stay knowing what he's done to her in here anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Can I suggest you all try and stay away from each other in the future? Yeah. Fine by us. Listen to you sounding like a proper copper. Um, I'm a proper copper. At least I will be. June the 22nd. Yeah, of course you are. Great. See you later. See ya. <sighs> For a minute there, I thought it wasn't going to come down on our side. You all right? Yeah, just a headache. Take any painkillers? 
No, I can't take any more for an hour or so. You head off. I think I just need a bit of peace. Well, I'll, I'll stay. We don't need to talk. I can read the paper or something. No, please, don't mither. I'm not mithering you, Dad. I'm just a bit worried about you. Why don't you come and stay with us tonight? We're going to go to Chippy. Yeah, all right. All right, fine. I'll stay. Give me an hour to grab a few things. I'll be over. What do you need Anne with that one? No, go. All right, all right. I'm going. Tim? I forgot to leave you the keys. What was that? It's pathetic, I know. But that camera helped me sleep better at night. That's why I was having a look to see if it was caught anything, you know, of what had happened. Did it? No. See, I thought it was on the blink. The last thing it recorded was two weeks previous. Well, why didn't you tell the police? Because if it had worked, they could have had a bang to rights. Yeah, but like I said, I knew it was a long shot, and it started going wrong. And... What? Well, it's very embarrassing, Tim, admitting how much it shook me up. I felt useless. How do you mean? Well, I never really checked it, and having it there felt like a, a crutch. I felt safer. Both of us did. Hang on a minute, let me get this straight. So Yasmin knew about this camera? Yeah, yeah, of course. B but that night she was so off her head, she must have forgot. So that's why I thought I'd, it was worth a look, you know? And that's why I didn't say anything, because people will think I'm a paranoid, stupid old... It's, it's all right, Dad. Just, just breathe, just breathe. It wasn't just the breaking. It was me. I felt safer knowing it was there because Yasmin was out of control and I was scared. But like you said, it didn't film anything that night anyway. And it might have picked something up another night when she was being aggressive towards you. No, 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 no. That was mostly upstairs anyway. Dad, it's all right. Let's but just... now I'm going to get into trouble for not telling the police because I'm stupid. I'm a stupid <laughs> idiot. I'm an idiot. Dad, th it's all right. Let's just pretend that it never existed, OK? No harm done. It's OK. I can't ask you not to tell Sally. Yeah, of course you can. This is between us. Thanks, son. Now, come here, you great big numpty. <sighs> it's OK. But I'm telling you, you're going to come and stay with us for a bit, OK? And let us look after you. No arguments. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's not going to get any easier, is it, with Alia? Well, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe you and him should go away until the trial. Go away? We've only just got the house back. Have you seen the state of him? You see how frail he is? Yeah, well, all this aggro's not helping him, is it? Yeah, but if we leave, it looks like we're guilty of something, doesn't it? If anybody should leave, it should be her. Uh... What are you two whispering about in here? What? Nothing. Well, it doesn't sound like nothing. Look, I, I don't want to be a burden. Not a burden, is he? No, not at all. We weren't talking about that. Good. Because the moment I outstay my welcome, you tell me. Until then, 
I'm going to do my bit. Why don't I put this chip paper outside? Stick the place up if yeah, you no, leave I'll it. Do that. No, no, I'm already doing it, son. You sit yourselves down. Are you up? I passed four. Kept seeing her coming at me with that bottle. I like that bottle. I am shattered. What would he have done, do you reckon? Houdini. If Bess was coming at him with a piece of broken glass. Well, there's no escaping that, Dad. <laughs> Here she is. Morning, Sal. Morning. Morning. I'll put some coffee on. The only thing that stands out from the joint account is a couple of payments made to a bar in town. The Byram Lounge. It's part of the Regency Hall Hotel. Byron. Uh, Byram. It's named after John Byram. He's a poet, apparently. I googled him. I'm pretty sure it's Byron. Either way. You think it could be a bar bill? She hadn't been drinking. He'd convinced her she was an alcoholic. And you don't think she could have been? Even in private. Look, she is not and never was an alcoholic. He made her think that she was so he could stop her going out. He was controlling her. Well, until she admits that, we're not going to get very far, are we? OK, so ask her about the bar bill. Ask her if it's true she was skulking out to get wasted at the Byron Lounge. Byron. There are a couple of payments, one for £43, one for £23.40. £23.40. And you've never even heard of the Byron Lounge. I've heard of John Byram. He's a Manchester-based poet, not to be confused with Lord Byron. And Jeff never mentioned he was going there? Or... No. It is part of the Regency Hall Hotel. Never heard of it. See, I think there's something you're not telling me. And I don't know why. Maybe some sense of loyalty. Or shame. So if there is anything that Jeff did that you might think is relevant or that we could use in your defence, it is really important that I know about it. Alia is adamant that he bullied you. That he drove you to this. That he was manipulative. Deceitful. Controlling. Right. We'll leave it there for now. I'm gonna go to the Byron Lounge, see if they can be of any help. Do you really want to know what he was doing at the hotel? Might take me dad to the pub this afternoon, have a bit of normality. Make it the flying horse, keep him at the limelight. Why should we? If people want to express their solidarity, bring it on. Let's just hope they do. Well, why wouldn't they? Ali's had it in for him right from the beginning, so... She didn't want him having shares in the business, she pulled her face when they got married. She didn't even go to the party. She's deranged, they both are. You should be supporting him through this, cos he's the injured party. My dad, your father-in-law. That's where our loyalties lie. I need to nip into work. We'll see you in pub then, shall we? Yeah, maybe. Escorts. How did she know? Well, she 
found an email from an agency. He's claiming that it's something to do with some dating thing for his radio show. I don't know whether to throw up or to cheer. Well, I wouldn't do either just yet. In fact, just put all of it to one side. She's pleading guilty. Steve says she's not working out, but according to Liz, you can't tell her anything. She... No one's allowed an opinion. I can imagine. Yeah, and I really like Leanne. Oh, I do. Hiya. Have you seen Ryan? Yes, actually, he came in here getting an advance on his wages, 20 quid. Although I've been slipping him tennis since it was this time. Did he say where he was going? Town, I think. Thanks. Alia, can I have a word? Apparently, she locked Jeff out of his own home. Well, whatever goes on in that house is anyone's guess. Oh, is it now? I know a villain when I see one. He makes my antennae twitch. Now there's an image. And how is she in herself? Why? Because I'm her next door neighbour and I care about her. I need to go and speak to Ryan. Alia, I know what it's like in there. She's gonna struggle. So tell him to admit what he's done. And what is that? She was living in fear. She told you that? Well, it's more than just a hunch. What do you think he drove her to it? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he was a fantastic husband and she loved him. And then one day, for no reason whatsoever, she does that. God, the jester. Makes my stomach turn. To have booked a hotel in Spain, but he hadn't. Then he said he'd kill himself if she went without him. Really? Remember his heart scare? He did actually need an ambulance. But he didn't get in it. Because he knew they'd find out that he was faking it. And so would she. I must admit, she didn't seem to know much about Jeff paying for our wedding. I'm not surprised. Sally, you haven't heard anything yet. Brace yourself. I wonder how she is today. It's me. Mm. Can't be much fun in there. And she doesn't smoke, so she'll be as poor as a church mouse. Right. That is me. Not stopping. No, I'm on granny duty. Oh, it'll be worth it when they're an international pop sensation, eh? Forget about the Jackson 5, meet the Winter Brown 4. <laughs> Bring on the bungalow. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. What about um, WB4? No, that sounds like engine oil. Give him a kiss from us. Will do. <laughs> it was her round. Tighter than a bullfighter's pants. Full house. Yes. Uh, two pints of bitter, please, love. I better go. Take care. Anything else? A smile wouldn't hurt. So, how are you enjoying it so far? Oh, you know. Hey, I like calling my starters. <laughs> Go on, let's hear it. <clears throat> now. <laughs> Last starters of the bar, ladies and gentlemen. Last starters. What? I'll get them in. It's only 25 past one. I'm only joking. Oh, <laughs> for you, for the capital F. Well, how far off are you? It's like the slaughtered lamb in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, I'll see you in a minute. Yep. Hello, you two. Uh, can I get you a drink? Oh, well. No, actually, uh, we're fine. Thanks. Maybe next time, eh? Mm. Well, you could stick it up your backside. Not the one that's staying here. He reckons this is a bit wrong with the shower, so she's gone to have a look. Slipped out before Carla could see her. <laughs> What's she like? Oh, well, I used to live there. You know, there's an act to it. <laughs> I bet there is. <laughs> Come on, then. What did she say? We were just having a, a natter about Liz. Alia. Nothing much. She'll say anything to let Yasmin off the hook. Where's Tim? They had to nip into the office. Can I get you a drink? 
No, no, it's fine. I'm going home. Well, really? See you, Eileen. Yeah. Bye, Sam. Yeah, 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 don't bother, son. I'll see you at home. Yeah. Sally, she's in prison because she came close to killing me old man. So why does it feel like everybody over there is on her side? Well, that's what I was trying to find out. And have you? How are you getting on? Well, there are a few things that we didn't know. Go on, then. I shouldn't really say anything. Well, go on. Go on. Your dad's been seeing escorts. Was well, after a new car? No, escort, escort. Sex workers, prostitutes, oh, call wow, girls. How low can you get? Is that the best you can come up with, a devious little girl? Have you heard that, Dad? Tim, no. They reckon you've been sleeping with prostitutes. Have Have you ever heard I was so daft? Well. Dad. Oh, come on, Dad. We know it's not true. Look how hurt he is. That's not hurt, that's guilt. It's slander. Even if you saw a thousand prostitutes, it won't change, oh. I didn't see a thousand. I saw two. At the same time? Separately. Oh, I don't really want to be part of this conversation. Well, there's not much more to say. I wanted company. I loved Yasmin, but there was nothing coming back. No love, no affection. My confidence was at an all-time low. Well, I had no idea. Nobody did. You paid for sex. Yeah, I didn't envisage having this conversation. Oh, it's disgusting. I was desperate. I'm not proud of it. But if I'd known how she was going to react... You see? That's why she did it. Well, I can't blame her. How would you react? I'd be livid. Yeah, but you wouldn't try and kill me, would you? You wouldn't try and slash my neck with a broken ball, surely? This doesn't justify that, and I'll admit it doesn't cover you with glory, but you didn't deserve to die for it. If anything, this helps. It proves that she did it. The police need to know. Well, it contributed, I dare say. Well, you should have told him, and you should have told me. What a nice, cosy little father-son chat. It's gone beyond that, Dad. We need to make sure that she pays. What, like he did? Sally. So which story are you going to stick to? Because you told the police that you were arguing because she wanted another drink. She did. It was both. Well, there you go. That explains the violence and the rage. <laughs> They'll probably take her side. You know what it's like these days. You say boo to any woman and you're an ogre. Well, I think we can all agree that she overreacted. It depends if there's a female judge. Well, if this comes up in court and they don't know about it, you'll look bad. You can't go to the police. I wasn't supposed to say anything. No, I'm glad you did. It means that he can prepare for it. He can take charge. It provides him with a motive. It's humiliated. do not matter. Like I'm a dirty old man. You're a lonely old man. <sighs> I've let you both down. I'm... I'm very sorry. You haven't let anybody down, Dad. We're just glad that you're still with us. Sure, they won't be closed. The police station. Come on, love. You've got enough experience in the law to know they don't shut up five. Closed on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. You can't get arrested bank holidays. Aren't you disgusted? Well, life's complicated. And if she was giving him no. Would you really believe that? Don't you? Well, I never got that impression. But she was devoted to him. I mean, if I didn't give out, would you go on the internet? What for? to book an escort. Of course I wouldn't. But if I did, would you try and stove me head in? Look, I'm just as shocked as you are, OK? It's grubby and it's embarrassing, but we don't know what she's been putting him through. He's a broken man. Look at him. She might have been chipping away his confidence for months. Maybe this was just the beginning of it all. Yeah, maybe. Come on, Dad. Escorts. Escorts. And I don't mean the car. And your wife knew about this? When exactly did she find out? The night she attacked me. So, in other words, it was a reason she attacked you? We don't know. 
I suspect. Who can tell what was going through her mind? Why well, had you seen escorts in the past? Once. Years ago. I should make you aware that the CPS will need to know about this. If they use it, they'll need a statement. And if they don't use it, your wife's defence might. Let them. So you know what I'm about to ask? You came to me with an extensive account of the events leading up to the attack. Why tell me this now? It's not like it might have slipped your mind. Well, why do you think I'm telling you now? I'm sorry. But this is very hard for me. I don't feel good about doing it. I felt sidelined by her drinking, her neglect. It's not the sort of thing you want advertised to your wife, to a policeman or woman, woman especially, to a courtroom full of strangers. In other words, you're coming to me now before they bring it up in court. I'm trying to help you build up an accurate picture, whether it paints me in a bad light or not. So how does she find out? Run me through that night again. I'll try. Clee, how could you? I told you that in confidence. I wasn't supposed to mention it to anyone and now it's got back to him. I'm sorry. And what did he say? Denial, denial, denial. He said it was true. In fact, he's gone to tell the police. I think he's going to claim it was part of the reason she did it. In other words, I've just handed them her motive. I don't believe it. I knew I shouldn't have told you. I thought I could trust you. You can. Well, it's too late now. I've played right into his hands. So now he's going to say she was having some kind of jealous meltdown. I told you not to say anything. I know you did. I'm an idiot, but at least we know what we're working with. Sometimes I wonder which one of us is the solicitor. Look, until you found those payments, she wasn't even going to say anything. You need to get her to open up. She's got to tell you everything, cos this is just the tip of the iceberg. And if she pleads guilty, none of this even matters. These are all just mitigating factors. But if she pleads not guilty, she gets to defend herself. Yes. Well, then she needs to change her mind. I have tried that. All right, well, it's lucky that I've just booked a visit. You know what women are like. They get the knickers in a twist about stuff like this. Now what? Paying for sex? Will you stop saying it? Well, you're as disgusted as she is. You're just trying to save my feelings. Well, it wouldn't have been my bag, I admit. I married her in good faith. She withheld all physical contact. I didn't sign up for that. Well, we never read the small print, do we? The most physical contact we've had for the last six months was when she hit me with that bottle. Well, it'll all come out in the wash. Just gotta let Sally cool off a bit, haven't you? What's Faye gonna think? Hmm. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, eh? I've been such a fool. Well, there's a long queue of them out there, Dad. Chlamydia. Clear, Dad. That is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. He contracted an STI from a call girl and passed it on to you. Will you keep your and voice you still down? still let win. I will not mention those women in court. I'm sorry, Alia, but there's a line and I won't cross it. What line? What are you talking about? It's his reputation you'll be dragging through the mud, not yours. It doesn't feel that way. So what's it going to take to make you realise it's him that needs to be in here, not you? This is a woman's prison. Is that a joke? An attempt at one, yes. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is real. Neither can I. But... I would rather be in here than have that come out in court. Gran, you cannot sacrifice your freedom over this. Look, of course... It's going to be difficult and shameful, but it wasn't your fault. He drove you to this. You can't spend 15 years in here just because you don't want a room full of strangers to find out your husband gave you chlamydia. But he was a bully and a liar. He emotionally abused you. Tell the courts. Shout it from the rooftops, but do not let him get away with this. Because do you know what? If you do, he'll just find someone else and it'll happen all over again. 
This is your last chance. You're not guilty. Tell the truth. Thanks, son. I just need to keep busy. Unless a man had been broken by this, Dad. You want to put it for compensation when this is over? Will it ever be over? We don't need an escort. What did you just say? You trying to be funny, lad? Hey, Tim, that's my boy you're talking to. Yeah, leave it, Tim, leave it. He's having a pop. He's not. How could he know? Sorry, cross wires. Sorry, Dave, Yasmin's in court today. I'm a bit on pins. Mm. See you around. Morning. This is me with my key worker's hat on. You must have questions about the plea hearing. Morning. Have you heard this? I'm not being negative, I'm just... Being negative? Look, how many times have you thought, this is it, the chance to nail Jeff and then have the rug pulled from under you? Usually by Yasmin. Well, all that proves is how brainwashed she was. Is. She's not the only one that needs protecting. Hey, I'm safe. I've got my freedom, I've got a future. You've seen how fragile she looks. A life sentence? It'll kill her. Yes, but unfortunately she doesn't seem to care. We've tried everything. Except now, thanks to me and my big mouth, the cat's out of the bag. Yeah, Jeff's admitted their dirtiest, darkest secret. Well, Gwen might as well speak out. There's nothing left to hide. Oh, I'll not be sad when Jenny gets back. This is not for me, this hospitality lot. Other people's sheets and towels. It's disgusting. Scott. Mm. You find anything you shouldn't? Not one of Lizzie's thumbs. Only a matter of time, isn't it, dirty minx? <laughs> hey, it's getting busy out there. All right, give me five minutes. I'll be through. All right, hey, um, sorry to drop you in it. It's just, I can't let Alia face this pre trial thing going around. Well, Imran will be there, but... He don't count, does he? No. I mean, he's got play-down connections, act professional. Mm. How's Ollie doing? Well, you know what she's like once she sets her mind on something. Yeah, like a dog with a bone. What if it all turns to nothing that way? I mean, they can't pretend that Yasmin didn't wallop Jeff with that bottle. Yeah, but she loves her grand. She's got to give it her best shot, hasn't she? She's already lost so much. But she's got you. We call that the booby prize. Oh, modesty, that's the first. <laughs> Face it, I've never scored top marks as steady boyfriend. Until now. You're knocking it out of the park, kidder. Yeah. Yeah, besides, if she's got you, she's got us, the outlaws. Now, will you get down that cellar and do some work? I'll get my pound of flesh out of you if it kills me. Yes, boss. Must be a page turner. Dinner time. We don't see you in here that often. Yeah, well. Once I got absorbed in a good book, I'm not much company for Tim. Mm. You might want to... It helps. Two teas, please, love. Yep. I don't mind driving. How long do these plea hearings take, anyway? I'm going to be sat there for oh, hours. Let's take the chum. You have to sell a kidney to pay for the parking near the courts. Mm. Oh, it's all right. I'm leaving. But don't go on our account. Uh, team Yasmin. We haven't got long. Jeff's made a statement. He paid for sex with escorts. The word's out. He can't play the sainted husband anymore. There's so much he kept from us. I didn't want to worry you. And so much he kept from you. Like your own money. How did you not realise? The finances were Jeff's domain. I wasn't much good at budgeting. Is that what he told you? And experience proved. Even when he was looking over my shoulder, I struggled to make ends meet. There were nights when we went hungry. You mean you did? Well, he nipped off to the chippy. You're trying to trap me. I'm trying to open your eyes. Look, Sally told me about the wedding money. Generous Jeff, splashing your cash, acting like the big I am while you're existing on scraps. Scraps? 
I went to your house. After all, the police had cleared out. Your cupboards were bare? You, the most amazing cook that I know, scrabbling around for a few husks of rice. Can't you see how he's chipped away at you? When he took your money, he stole your independence. And when they sent you in here, it broke me. Dignified, intelligent Yasmin Nazir reduced to this. But it hasn't been a struggle. I take people as I find them. I do. you haven't been a wife to Jeff. An equal. You've been living as a prisoner for months. Complex. Insecure. It's what first attracted me to him. See the face behind the Joker mask. He is known pain too. He understands. He gets my sadness. About mum and dad? No, but before that, when even your own parents disown you, when you seem to have let down every man in your life. Like who? Where do I start? Like my father, your father, Sharif. A cheat? Zizan wasn't a cheat, but he couldn't wait to get away. It's... As you get older, you realize that no one really likes you. Wait, what? I grate on people. Too bossy, too opinionated. I have this manner. I. I don't even know I'm doing it. And it comes across as snobby. Jeff wanted people to love me the way that he did, and I didn't make it easy for him. He tried to change you. Yes, and, and I did get better for a while. In the end, my voice was like nails on a blackboard to him. My questions drove him mad. There wasn't anything to do but just be quiet. It was the same with everything. He kept testing, I kept failing. Charlotte didn't need to die. Charlotte Bronte. I fussed over those hens far too much, not enough over him. Jeff was jealous of a chicken. No. He waited till I took a mouthful. I actually said, this is delicious. <laughs> he cooked her. He... Killed her, plucked her, cooked her, timed everything to perfection. You should have seen his face when he told me what I was eating. He relished every word. And is that normal? No, no, it's not. Look me in the eye. It was beyond cruel. But I knew the signs. When he was stressed, I could have snapped him out of it. But I took my eye off the ball. And poor Charlotte paid the price. There's a whole steak and kidney slice in here. Yeah, sorry, I, I can't stomach anything. Well, she's not worth the upset. That's not so much the upset, it's the not knowing. Oh, come on, Dad, you heard that copper. They're going to anticipate a guilty plea. Yeah, well, anticipation doesn't cut the mustard. I need certainty. Well, I'll go down there, then. No, 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 you said you'd stop here with me for moral support. Yeah, but I'm more used to you down there, aren't I? At least if I'm listening, I can get an honest report. Is that not what's bothering you? You're frightened I might hear something I've not bargained for? That's your missus talking. There is no more to know. Yeah, of course there isn't. You've held your hands up about the whole escort business. You're an open book. Yeah, a bit doggy, perhaps, but my spine isn't broken. Yet. 
to lodge in my brain. He tells me something. What time we're going to meet. I forget it. I turn up at the wrong time in the wrong clothes. I go out to the shops. I get distracted, end up taking far too long. Sometimes I write things down so I'll remember them. And then I lose the notebooks. I have wondered if I'm starting with dementia. And that's where the crosses help. Crosses, like um, crucifixes. Death's not religious. It's a little, little red crosses all over the house. I did resent them at first, but at least it means that we keep up with the cleaning. Just like your dad in that respect. Military standards, daily tasks, weekly tasks, monthly tasks, checks and balances. And uh, once he, <laughs> he even put a cross on the hoover. Now, people don't think, but a vacuum cleaner needs a clean and polish too. Jeff drew the crosses. Uh, yeah. At different places every day, I had to find them and clean them up. Why are you crying? Because you're not. Sal? How's that husband of yours? He called his jet chef? No, I suppose I'd be the same. Another inch in that jet being a gunner. Yeah, must make you really protective. Well, he's very touchy, his dad's concerned. Excuse me. 12 o'clock. Taxi. Ooh! Sack the juggler! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Cheers. So I um, guess you're going where we're going. Yep. Solidarity. Right. Hearing's at three, isn't it? I think that gives us enough time to get there on the tram, doesn't it, Cathy? Well, I think so. Uh, how often are they this time of day? Every sort of 15 minutes or so? All right, fine, I'll give you a lift. Are you sure? Well, that was an interesting ride to school. Who's the only person Nasty Neil is in touch with? Not his beloved daughter, not his wife, our man Windass. I'm on my way to Corn, you're telling me this now? Sorry, it'll keep. Give my best to Yasmin, yeah? Go. Hey, cheers. Afterwards, he'd always feel bad. He's not afraid to say he's sorry, not like some men. He'd cry like a baby. I'd hold him in my arms and rock him. And that's when he liked him best. He loved me so much, too much. Why didn't you leave him? I lost Sharif. I did not want to lose another man. You can't compare the two. Sharif didn't need me. He proved that. Jeff did. I knew he, he'd never cope. <gasps> Don't laugh at me. I'd never laugh at you. I love you like you deserve to be loved. But I can picture him now. He'll be like a lost soul, not eating, not looking after himself. Do you ever stop making excuses for him? He has never claimed to be perfect. I told you, he's a complicated man. We're all complicated. That's an explanation, not an excuse. Right, say, say Jeff wasn't doing this to you. Say he'd done it to Tim growing up. Impossible tasks, harsh punishments. Say he'd starved little Tim of food, stolen his pocket money, stopped him playing out with his friends. Say he'd killed Tim's favourite pet and made him eat it. Would you still call him complicated? Or would you call him something else? A bully, maybe? A sociopath? An out-and-out -out abuser? Time!
so tiny. I can't look at her. If only we'd known. Yasmin Metcalf, please stand. Please confirm your name and date of birth. Yasmin Metcalf, 16th September, 1953. This is your plea and trial preparation hearing. You face an indictment containing one count of attempted murder, the particulars of which are that on 13th of April, 2020, oh, she is. you attempted Fat to yes. murder Jeff. Thunder thighs. What is wrong with you? Seven minutes you were gone. The amazing wonder wobble. Since when does it take seven minutes to go to the corner shop? I can't look at you. You make me sick. I can't believe that much of a thrill you get out of attacking me. You don't stand there feeling sorry for yourself, you bony old bore. Mrs. Metcalf, do you understand the allegation? I'm sorry, Your Honor. Yasmin Metcalf, you are charged on this indictment with a single count of attempted murder, the particulars of which are that on the 13th of April 2020, you attempted to murder Jeffrey Metcalf. How do you plead? Mrs. Metcalf. Mrs. Metcalf. Your Honor. How do you plead? Not guilty. In your own time. Apologies, Your Honour. Uh, due to limited prison visits and my client's late arrival in court today, I've been unable to confer with her. Therefore, I've had no firm uh, instruction on her plea. Mrs. Metcalf's plea has taken you by surprise. Indeed, yes. Not the only one. Under the circumstances, I would like to request an adjournment that I might meet with my client, discuss the defence's position, and ensure an effective plea and trial preparation hearing. Very well. This hearing will resume in seven days' time. Thank you. And unless I am asked to consider otherwise, Mrs. Metcalf will remain in custody until the adjourned hearing. All rise. Your Honour, we are moving on to the next case in the list, That's which good news, is right? Gillian Bracknell. Yeah. We can finally the get everything out in the desk. open. Everyone's going to know who Jeff Metcalf really is. Sit by the kettle, you silly Millie. Thank you. I'm doing one of my special chilies tonight. Did him not tell you? No. Well, like us all, he does have a lot on his mind. You know, we're uh, planning a little drink in the Rovers before tea, a sort of debrief after all the court shenanigans. Right. You are coming, aren't you? Ma. Well. I don't know if it's a good idea to be seen living it up when... When Yasmin's not. We can't hide away, Sally. We have to show a united front. Are you united against Yasmin? No, of course not. And I get it. You know, I don't want to seem uncaring, even though she did try to kill me. She's still my wife. 
Well, yesterday he said you were in a loveless marriage. From her perspective, perhaps, not mine. She fell out of love with me. And maybe I should carry the blame for that. I started to take her for granted. I need to get back to work. Yeah, yeah, I've taken up enough of your time. But hey, I'll buy you a drink in the Rovers later to compensate, eh? Giving love to everyone these days. You can always get a job at street cars if the lawyering don't work out. Sorry, Sally, I've forgotten my wallet. Uh, you'll be all right to get them in, though, won't you? I mean, I have been slaving over a hot chili con carne all afternoon. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just pulling your leg. Enjoying yourself? How are you? I can't believe you've got the neck to stick around here after what you've done to my gran. Controlling her, stealing from her. This will not help you as me. Oh, it'll help me. It's lies. All lies. Oh, save your breath. She's pleaded not guilty. It's going to go to trial. Evidence, witness statements. That's enough. Come on. Get off. Hey, please. She's told me everything you did. Everything. And when it comes out and everyone knows, you're going to be chased out of town. Sorry about that. Tempers are running a bit high, but I I'm sure it'll all be fine. Now, you don't have to be an expert, do you? I mean, she was the only person there, so how come she pleaded not guilty? I don't know. She whacked him over the head with a bottle of wine. She did it, nobody else did. Hi, Alia. Oh, don't mind us. You carry on. Yeah, I'm just bringing her up to speed. On the facts? Yeah, the facts. Don't let her get to you, son. I won't. She's probably only here to accuse me of some made-up nonsense, anyway. No, I've come to buy my lovely boyfriend a drink. You can't frighten me into staying indoors. We have as much right as you to be here. More, I'd say, were you working here. Yeah. Hey, maybe you could bring people up to speed, too, eh? With the facts? Oh, here we go. Just keep it civil, will you? I'm not saying anything. It's all gonna come out in court soon enough. Every last bit. All those skeletons, eh, Jeff? Come on, Dad, don't let her get you. See now. So you have a defence to prepare? So it would seem. I might have a bit of news too. I met Kelly's mum, Laura. Well, where? I might have uh, deliberately bumped into her. Had a little chat, batted my eyelashes. As you do. I reckon she could give us a lot more info on Gary and Rick. Yeah, and help us nail the pair of them. I should have taken a picture of Jeff's face when I told him about Gran. Mm. He knows the game's up. Private number. That's me. Gran? Alia? Are you OK? Yes, yes, yes. I'm so proud of you for today. Are you? Yes. I'm all alone with my thoughts and worries. Have I done the right thing? Oh, of course you have. I'm going to put myself through the ordeal of a trial and, in all probability, they will convict me. Me, Imran, Paula, everyone is going to make sure that that trial goes your way, I promise you. Well, well, whether it goes my way or not, I'm still going to upset Jeff. Don't think about him for a second. Have you seen him? Why did I do it? I should have accepted what I've done and taken my punishment. Alia, please, will you, will you tell him I'm sorry? Please, Alia. Right, let's get that chili on. I'm starving. You help yourself. Um, I've lost my appetite. I don't let Alia get to you. Easier said than done. I'm going for a lie down. Come on, Dad. You see, Yasmin's getting to him from behind bars now. Mm. What do you mean, mm? Have you got nothing to say about it? I just want to change the subject. Come to think of it, you've said nothing all night. I could do with a bit of support on this one, Sally's struggling. Can't imagine what it'll be like when he goes to trial. Yeah, and what about Yasmin? What about her? I'm sorry, but she's getting lost in all this. 
But that woman tried to kill me, Dad. Well, something must have happened to push her to that point. What, you think you deserved it? I... I'm not saying that. Then what are you saying? Just... Come on. There's a lot about your dad's behaviour that we don't know about. He keeps playing the victim. Playing the victim? And I'm not sure he is. I'm sorry, Tim. I love you and I'm with you on most things. Apart but... from me, Dad. I just find it very uncomfortable, him being around. All right. So you want me to ask him to go? You do, don't you? I just don't want him in our house anymore. You can't ask him to leave. I can't, no. <laughs> Hey, Hey, Oh, you look well today. Well, I don't feel it. Why is it the courts always take the woman's side? Well, she has been in the paper. No, but some other woman is. And they're painting their husband like a... like some monster without a single fact to back their story up. Well, there's papers for you. But seriously, well, how are you feeling? Fine. Yeah, I've got a decent night's sleep. Comfy bed, that. Yeah. Still, I bet you prefer your own. Ah, no, don't worry about me. Instead of listening to us lot clomping about first thing, fighting for the shower. Must be a bit of a nightmare, that. Oh, I like being around my family. What about your chickens? What? Well, having to go all the way around there to feed them every day. What's this about? Well, no, 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 nothing. Tim? Well, I just thought you'd be happier in your own home. Are you asking me? Or telling me. Uh, I've got this minute. Oh, no, 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 there's not a moment to lose. I've got my tacker's chickens to feed. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad, if it was down to me. I must be mistaken. I thought this was your house. It is, but it's Sally's and all. Yeah, and she believes everything that that little... Alia says about me. No. I thought families were supposed to stick together at times like this. Yasmin said that she's not guilty. And Sally believes her. Let me finish. So that means you've got a day in court to prepare for, so you could do with your own bed in your own space. I suppose so. Yeah, and we're still here for you. We're only next door. Sally too. <sighs> Dad, Sally's had her fingers burnt by the legal system. She doesn't know what to think. Well, it hurts to think she might not believe me. Well, it's more that she knows what it's like when people rush to judgment and how damaging it can be. Yeah, that's true. And she knows what it's like in a courtroom when everybody turns against you, even if you've done no wrong. And that includes you. Maybe it would be good to be back in my own bed. Yeah. We're still here for you. Thanks. Shall you have a cuppa before you go? that Sally doesn't believe him. I told him that it was so that he could get some breathing space before the trial. Do you believe you? I think so, yeah. I just don't know why she ever doubted him. Well, there's always two sides to every story. Yeah, but he was the one that ended up in hospital. How did she explain that? Streetcars. Yeah, how many? Just a second. That's a... Wedding's just finished. They need loads of cars. It's going to be a while. Why don't, why don't you just go for a pint? No, I'll wait. Don't want to sit here watching me work on your day off. <laughs> Wait a minute, a wedding's finished. It's a bit early, isn't it? Not that early. Hang on a minute, that didn't even flash. You trying to get rid of me? Is this something you're not telling me? Oh, Tim. Have you even considered that maybe Yasmin's telling the truth? What? No. OK, fine. What, have you? Well, I'm sorry, but I believe her. You're joking me. But your dad's always been nice to me, but I don't think it's the wrong way, but... There's always something a little bit off about him. What do you mean, off? Well, remember when he locked her in the box? That was an accident. 
Really? Yeah. Well, on the trip to Blackpool, I asked her. And what'd she say? That it was an accident. Well, there you go. Yeah, but it was just something in the way she said it. And what'd she say? It fell off. Off? What do you mean, off? What's all this talk of off? We're not talking about milk. OK, fine. I'm just telling you what I think. Just do with it what you want. Well, I'll choose to ignore it. Fine. Oh. Lights flashing. Streetcars. Hey, up. I brought you these as a moving back in present. Brilliant. I'll invite the neighbours over. Oh, no, I can't. They all hate me. They don't hate you. What's all this? I'm just trying to sort everything for the trial. Mysteriously, none of the local solicitors are available. How come? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Imran has probably put out the word they're closing ranks against me. I don't believe that. Even if I find a lawyer, who knows how I'll pay for them. I thought you were all right for cash. I was. But then I had a lot of, you know, family expenses. What do you mean, our wedding? I didn't want to mention it, but... Well, Sally's dress wasn't exactly the cheapest. It's funny, isn't it? One minute you're the hero of the hour, the next... Ignore me. Well, we could always take the dress back. I don't be daft. I should never have brought it up in the first place, sorry. Oh, I feel terrible now. Hey, the last person I want to feel guilty in all of this is you. Obviously, your loyalties are going to be a bit divided. What do you mean? Well, you can't go against Sally. Hold on, just because her loyalties are divided, it didn't mean to say mine are. I tell you what, let's forget this six-pack. I'm going to take you to the pub. Again? Yes, again. It's about time you go back to your normal routine, you. Remember, you're not the guilty one here. Yeah, well, I know that. Come on, get coat on. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. Rubbish. Let's get this sorted once and for all, eh? Can we join you, love? Actually, I need to head back. Well, you've still got a full glass. Yeah, well, I've suddenly gone off it. Look, if I'm that much of an embarrassment to you, you stay, I'll go. No, you stay there. After all he's done for us, the least we can do is have a drink with him. I'm sorry, Tim. I've just got to act on my conscience. See you later. <sighs> Go after her. The last thing I want is you two falling out over me. No chance. If she wants to take Yasmin's side, let her. Well, in that case, I'm going too. You can't leave. You don't think I can stay when I know I'm pulling you two apart? I know you mean well, Tim, but Sally's not the only one with a conscience. See you later. Oh, hiya, Jeff. You all right? Oh, you know, bearing up. Was that drop quick word with Sally? I don't know. All right, uh, Sal, visitor for you. Do you want me to chuck him out? No, it's fine, Kirk. I'll deal with it. Hold on to your machines, girls. It could all be about to kick off. Well, I'd best get on, but if you ever feel like you need a brew or a chat, you know where I am. Thank you. I may very well take you up on that. But before you say anything, I haven't come to have a go or plead my case. Good. And what have you come for? Cos this isn't a great time. I thought you should know. I understand why you wanted me to move out. And there's no hard feelings. Not on my part, anyway. Right. It's only natural you'd want to side with Yasmin. Her being locked up. It's bound to bring back terrible memories. It's got nothing to do with that. Well, the irony is, I always used to side with you over Tim. I very much doubt that. When you were in prison, and Gina was setting her sights on him, I was the one who had your back. I told him... You stay clear of that one. She's not right. Then, of course, there was the whole bigamy thing. Yeah, well, that's all in the past now. Exactly. Because I gave him a right kick up the pants and told him he needed to make it up to you. Why? Because whatever differences we may have, you and I will always have one important thing in common. Which is? Tim. I'm wanting what's best for him, which is why I couldn't keep my mouth shut anymore. About what? How this is affecting him. The stress is tearing him apart. Tim's fine. Is he? Sally, right now, you're forcing him to choose between his wife and his dad. What happens if he chooses his dad? I can assure you, Jeff, that's not going to happen. Well, I hope you're right. Genuinely. Not just for your marriage, for his heart. Give me a bit of sugar. I know. 
It's not going to kill me. Well, that's not what I'm worried about. What is it, my dad? Look, I just don't want us to fall out over all this. Yeah, neither do I. Yeah, but... No but, Sal. I'm firmly on my dad's side, and you know it. Yeah. And you will be an all soon. Listen, you're entitled to your own feelings, OK? But just let's not let this come between us. Bye, Roy. I know you weren't there long, but it already feels weird without you being at ours. Did you have to move out? I'm afraid so, love, yeah. But why? Is it because of Sally and my dad arguing because you get used to it? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Roy. What's up with him? Oh, just another person siding with Yasmin. What? Oh, that's ridiculous. She tried to kill you. Even so, love, she's got a lot of friends around here. Who else? Grandad? Let's just say, Sally made it pretty clear I wasn't welcome at yours anymore. That's why I moved out. What? But, but she's family and she doesn't even like Yasmin. It's OK, love. No, it's not. But why is my dad letting this happen? Well, I think he just wants an easy life. You know how Sally can get. Well, if he's not going to stick up for you, then I will. And when I see her, I'll be having it out of her big time. No, honestly, love, I don't want to cause any more trouble. Please, just leave it, eh? We'll see. She remembers if you say hi. I doubt it. She doesn't remember anyone. Poor David. Yes, well, he's staying positive. Well, give him our love, and if there's anything we can do to help. Oh, Sally, yes, thanks, love. OK, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. What can we do to help? Well, I don't know. It's just what you say, isn't it? Hiya. Can you not ever acknowledge him now, then? Sorry? Yeah, you should be, throwing him out while he's poorly. It's OK, love. No, it's not. How can you let her chuck him out? He's done nothing wrong. It's complicated, Faye. How? He's family. You don't even like Yasmin. Yeah, I do. And even if I didn't... What? She tried to kill my granddad. Why are you sticking up for her? Let's talk about this inside, eh, instead of causing a scene. Come on. Inside. If Sally's kicked him out, it must be because she knows what he's really like. You don't know that. Tim's not going to let her chuck his own dad out, is he? Look, I have told you, you cannot go around pretending to be Miss Marple. I know, I know. Now, I need you to stay away from Jeff, as well as Sally and Tim. Now, particularly since I've now put out my witness requests. Maybe Sally's seen the light since all that escort stuff came out. Maybe that's why she kicked Jeff out. You are jumping to conclusions. I know, Sally. Under all that hyacinth bouquet rubbish, there's a deeply moral woman. And she's not a fool, either. If anyone's got a good idea of what went on between Gran and Jeff, it's her. Look, you don't have to move out. Look, I'm trying to support my granddad, which is more than what you've done. I'm quite capable of working the washing machine, you know. Well, I'm moving in. That's the end of it. Right, well, if you've made your mind up... So, first of all, you throw my dad out, now you're chucking my daughter out. I'm chucking anybody out. Look, this is my decision. See? <sighs> Come on, Grandad. She'll be back when she's calmed down. I'll talk to her. Happy now. Slide out. I got your pint. Cheers. Tim, can we just have a nice, normal night in the pub? Just the three of us. You know what, Sal? Maybe you should sit with them too. Make up stories about what a monster me old man is. Look, I'm really sorry about all this. This is just a really difficult time. Come on, Sal, let's sit down. See what I mean? Yeah. But let me handle it, yeah? The wheels really are coming off with those two. We need to think of the best possible way to exploit her. Do you reckon we can go back to the flat yet? You're so impatient. You're the one who want to know word for word what the social worker said. It's exciting. I feel like I've had nothing but bad news for ages. You've got a panel day. Hey. <laughs> so, when is it? July. I'll see you don't have to move out straight away. Mm. Well, we're going to have to start looking. Yeah, we need a spare room. Oh, well, it's funny you should say that. Why? I've been thinking about moving back to my mum's only so I can start saving my own place. Everyone's deserting us, babe. Not if their foster kid has a spare room. Well, we're going to want our own place. <laughs> yeah, eventually, but it might be good to have some other people around at first. I mean, if you're happy to have DBS checks. Yeah, I've not tried. <laughs> not sure about Alia, though. Oi. Well, you must have some dark secrets. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Anyway.
anyway, congratulations. Yeah. Congrats, <laughs> no, eh? not, not yet. I don't want to draw attention. No, we'll stop telling people soon. Um, but I just don't want Leanne to be the last to know. So I'm going to tell her tonight, and uh, well, then we can celebrate. Oi, come on! It is one chip. Still stealing? I call the cops. Just trying to make sure you're going to miss me when I'm gone. What did your mum say about you moving out? Well, she cried for a bit, oh. in a happy way, and then she started telling Peanut that her big brother was coming home. <laughs> hey, Craig's going to be sharing bunk beds with a Daxi. We'll have to postpone it. Well, let's not make any decisions yet. I know whilst everyone's still in shock. You OK? What has happened? It's all over. Do you know, every time they think it can't get any worse, it does. Wait, you haven't told anyone of you about the panel date, because I, I don't want it getting to Leanne. No. Uh, no, I told my mum I was moving back, but I hadn't told her why. Yeah, well, you needn't rush off now. Look, we need to decide what we're going to do next. Well, you can't think we'll continue on with the fostering. Obviously, we need to be sensitive. I think about what Leanne needs. What Leanne needs? She needs us not to be doing this right now. And that's, that's not going to change any time soon. Oliver's not going to get better. So we have to press pause and keep this whole thing from her. OK? To the family. I just don't know how I'd do it. I mean, seeing Leanne earlier just it broke my heart. And I mean, why, why him? It just seems so unfair. Everyone thinks it's unfair when they lose someone they love. Oh, sorry. No, you're okay. Just talking about Oliver. Yeah, I saw Steve heading to Leanne's earlier. He looked like a zombie. How is she? Shocked, angry. Not surprised. Uh, about the fostering, please don't mention it to anyone, will you? I haven't told Leanne yet. No, of course not. And I'm really sorry. Thanks. Given the flexibility of working from home, and it could help with the fostering. Actually, we were going to call you, but, um... Yeah, we wanted to explain in person. Explain? That doesn't sound very good. No. Well, the thing is, um, my sister's had some bad news. About a little boy? Mm. Um... Devastating news. And we just don't think it's the right time for us to be fostering. This is all very recent. Do you maybe want to take a few days and... No, we, um, we just don't think it'd be fair. I'm sorry. Oh, don't apologise and... Uh, I totally respect your decision. Thank you. Oh, we're not going to say never. No, absolutely. We're not. Good. Because couples like you, it's what we hope for. Are you actually going to drink that? Well, I guess I'm lucky you came along. You're bound to be upset. You got yourself all geared up and then... Yeah, well, at least this whole thing helped me bring my guard down. But no, it's not happening. Right now? It's not happening right now, but it will. Yeah, of course it will. And obviously, Toya is just as disappointed, but I guess with everything that's going on with Leanne... Yeah, compared to what her and Steve are going through, this is nothing. No, it's a big deal. Yeah, well, Toy's made the right decision thinking of them first. It's the sensible thing to do. Okay, come on. Let's get out of here. I've, uh, I brought that book I was telling you about. What book? You know, the one uh, with the Tudor detective, uh, the hunchback fella. Can he still say hunchback? <laughs> You'd have a pretty hard time describing Quasimodo if you can't. <laughs> Tell me about any book with Alice Bolton. Well, you can borrow it if you want to. What do you want, Cathy? Did I see Jeff coming out of Yasmin's last night? Probably. He's moved back in. I asked him to leave. So you're on Yasmin's side? No, I'm trying not to take anybody's side. Jeff is still my father-in-law. Anyway, I've got a day off. I want to get on with my ironing. Well, if only Yasmin had kicked him out herself when he locked her in that box. 
Fox? What are you talking about? Has Tim not mentioned it? Yeah, uh, Jeff locked Yasmin in a box. Eileen told me all about it. Oh, yeah, one of their magic tricks. And apparently, they left her in there for hours. Yeah. Half past five in the morning. Yeah. Still in her pyjamas and everything. Oh, yeah. Nick will be terribly concerned. Mm, yeah. Thanks. So, apparently, Sally has given Jeff his marching orders, so she is Team Yasmin as well. Mm. If Jeff's really as bad as you think he is, how would she put up with him? Yasmin's a smart woman. What does a victim look like, Brian? I'm not blaming her, I'm just saying. If you chip away at someone long enough, that is what happens. You really think Jeff drove her to it? She's not going to snap for no reason, is she? I mean, I wouldn't just wake up one day and suddenly try to murder you, would I? Oh, it's a relief. Look, he stopped her going out, told her she had a drink problem, and then there was, you know, the box thing. Oh, the jiggly Jeff thing. Hi, how you look? It was after the jiggly thing, OK? He locked her in that box. And I told Sally all about it this morning. I thought she knew, but apparently not. Hi, love. There's something not right about that man, I'm telling you. Is Tim about? No, he's at work. Has Jeff moved out? <sighs> I should have put a notice in the paper. I would have got more ironing done then. Was it his choice or yours? <sighs> I asked him to move out. Are you happy now? Would you consider being a witness for the defence? If I wanted to end things with Tim, I would. You don't want to help my gran? Of course I do. Please. She needs someone to speak up for her. What would I say? You were with her in the pub that night. You know how she was right before it happened and right after. You might have seen something that can help her. Can I at least tell her you'll think about it? She's really struggling, Sally. It'd be great to give her some good news. Please. I'll think about it. Thanks. Alia? Hey, here. Yeah. That's Marjorie. Get your kitchen fitted. Don't worry about him, he's a pussycat. I didn't think you'd want to see me. Well, if I'm honest, I have been struggling with what happened. But I found out this morning about Jeff locking you in that box. You need to talk to me, Yasmin. I was saying to Alia, losing a parent is part of the natural order of things, but... Losing a child, I've been through it. And my heart really goes out to Leanne and Steve. It really does. Are we going to talk about Jeff? Ali has told me some things, and I've spoken to Cathy and to Eileen, but I'd like to hear it from you. Whatever I think about Jeff, he is still Tim's father, and it wouldn't be fair on him. That's you all over that, isn't it? You're stuck in prison, and yet you're worried about other people. I'm fine. You're not fine. How could you be fine? Jeff only did what he did because he loved me so much. And I loved him. I still do. And what I did was much worse. Then why did you plead not guilty? Perhaps I shouldn't have. No, but you did. Deep down, you must believe that you don't deserve to be here. You're a good person, Yasmin. You're kind and gentle. Something must have driven you to act like that. I really don't want to talk about this anymore. Look, I know this is painful for you, but... You're going to have to talk about it in court, aren't you? And Ali has asked me to help you, and I can't help you unless you talk to me. There are no excuses. I'm not excusing what I did. But I just... I just couldn't take it anymore. What couldn't you take? Was it escorts? Was it being locked in that box? It was everything. There was more? There was a lot more. I was scared of him. 
I was scared of what he was going to do to me next. Oh, that's him. He said he was trying to help me clean properly. Do you know, I knew there was something wrong in the pub that night, but I never dreamt that this was all going on. That's when I found out about Jeff lending you money for the wedding. How could you not have known that? He managed the finances. He's old-fashioned. He thinks it's a man's job to look after the money and a woman's job to look after the home. It's not old-fashioned. It's Victorian. But surely he noticed that the money had gone. He took all my cards off me. What, you didn't even have your own card? No, he took all of them. Bank cards, credit cards, store cards. He put the house insurance in his own name. He had no right to do that. He said he was trying to help me get on top of things. Sounds like he was trying to control me more like. I didn't think you seemed yourself that night. Dress you were wearing? <laughs> he made me wear it. I had no choice. He burnt a lot of my good clothes because he thought I was going to leave him. That's what he was burning. He bought the dress for one of his escorts. Oh, I was horrible about it as well. Do you know, I even thought that you were trying to ruin the evening on purpose. I'm so sorry. It's okay. He's the one who should be locked up, not you. No. It's my fault I'm in here. How can you say that after everything you've just told me? Deep down, Jeff's a good man. I know I said I was scared of him, but he's never hit me. He's never physically threatened me. That's a pretty low bar. What I did was unforgivable. I almost killed him. Tim's gonna be heartbroken. No, no, no. You you can't tell Tim. I've got to. I would never have said anything if I thought you were going to tell him. You can't defend Jeff anymore. Whatever's happened, I can't stop loving him. He's my husband. Maybe I'm old-fashioned as well, but that still means something to me. Sally's been to see Yasmin. She needs all the friends she can get. Oh, give her my love. I could, or you could give it yourself. What do you think I'd be able to go and visit her? I think she'd really appreciate it. I've got to go. Jenny? Jenny's on the phone. Busy now. You're not going to take it? What shall I tell him? Don't tempt me. I'll tell him you'll call him back then. Is it me? Or has it gone a bit cold in here? I can't believe all that was going on next door and I didn't have a clue. You weren't to know. I could have done something though. You're doing something now. Thanks for going to see her. I'm sure it really helped. I know it must have been hard for you. You all right, Grandad? No. No, he's not. I'm busy. What were you and Alia talking about? That is none of your business. First she shut me out of the house and now I can't get a civil word. Have I done something to upset you? Well, I suppose I must have done the way you're treating me. I was the one who was attacked, in case you've forgotten. Yeah, well, I'd like you to leave now. I don't know where this has come from. I've always tried to be nice to you. I lent you the money for the wedding. Yeah, but that wasn't your money to lend, was it, Jeff? This is what ali has been telling you, is it? She's always had it in for me. And to tell you the truth, I don't think she wants her gran to be happy now. I don't know what else she's been telling you, but that money was my money. Well, it's not just from Alia. I've heard it from Yasmin. Have you been to see her? You have, haven't you? How is she? How do you think she is? What does she say? Look, I've asked you nicely. I'd like you to leave. I still love her, even after everything, and she loves me. That's not love. That's fear. She's scared of you. Why would she be scared of me? Because she sees you for the man you are, Jeff, a bully. What's she said? You've lost her for good. Is that what she said? You'll find out soon enough. I have a right to know what she said. But if you don't go now, I'm going to ring the police. She is my wife. What's going on? Thank God you were here. Don't talk to my wife like that. We playing her. I'm sorry I got worked up, but can you blame me? So do you want to tell me what all this is about? She's been to see Yasmin. My daughter-in-law visiting the very woman who tried to kill me. You are? Is that true? Yes, it is. 
And I'm glad I did, because the thing she told me about you... Oh, I don't doubt she did. Trying to turn you both against me. It's classic controlling behaviour. How can you say that after everything you've done? Don't you see? She's filling your head with nonsense, trying to justify what she did. All right, that's enough. No, Tim. No, that's enough! Just leave. I want to talk to Sally on my no, own. I Just go! Honestly, Tim, I actually felt scared. I really believe if you hadn't arrived... How could you do that? What? Well, if it wasn't bad enough for kicking him out and forcing me to take sides, this is a whole new level. Tim. Look, I know that he shouldn't have shouted at you like that, but if you think I'm going to back you on this, you've got another thing coming. Well, I didn't do it lightly. I tried to go along with Jeff's version of things, but it just didn't add up. I mean, all that stuff with escorts and then what Ali had told me. Ali's got an axe to grind. Dad explained everything about the escorts. All right, what about Yasmin being locked in a box? <sighs> Because I had to find that out from the neighbours, Tim, but apparently you knew that all along, so why didn't you tell me about it? Because that? it was something and nothing. Well, he deliberately locks her in a box, and that's something and nothing. No, well, that's where you're wrong, you see. He didn't lock her in a box. It had a faulty catch. Says who? Jeff? No, Yasmin said the same. She said they were messing about. It was an accident. She's bound to say the same. She's scared of him. Rubbish. That night in the pub when she was wearing that dress, do you remember? And Brian said it looked like she was going off to the Moulin Rouge. Yeah, what about it? He made her wear it to humiliate <sighs> her. She liked the flipping thing, Sal. She thought she looked good in it. She was trying to please him. She was scared of him. Oh, that's ridiculous. Why did she buy it in the first place? Well, she didn't. He did. And he bought it for one of his escorts and he took great pleasure in telling her that. Sally, she's making it up. Tim, he controlled her whole life. He took her bank cards off her. He didn't give her access to her own money. She's twisting things. That generation, the husband always looks after the money. He hid red crosses all around the house to make sure she was cleaning properly. It was probably some sort of practical joke that she's turned into something. That's if it's even true. It's true, all right. I've seen it with my own eyes how scared that woman is. Yeah, scared that she's going to go down and desperate to hang it on him. Tim, I know you don't want to believe this, but you saw what he was like. Yeah, look, I know me dad. He's a good man. He'd not do something like that. Yeah, a bit. You like him, don't you? Yeah, of course. I love him. Why? He's always been good to you, hasn't he? Yeah, he's great. He always cheers me up when I'm feeling down. He makes me laugh with his daft jokes. And he slips me money and tells me not to tell you. Does he now? Yeah, well, he's always been a good dad. When we were on holiday when we were kids, he was giving me this piggyback on a beach and he fell over and he cut his knees all open. But he never let go of me, you know. I remember looking at him, feeling loads of love for him. You know, because he protected me. I knew then that I could trust him. That's lovely. Yeah, he's a lovely man, my dad. Lovely man. And it felt so good hearing her say it. Because sometimes I doubt myself. You've got to stay strong. I know. Guess what? They've given me a job in the library. That's fantastic. Yes. Is something wrong? No, no. It's... It's been a good day overall. Tell me. Yeah, I'll just worry. I thought I heard one of the officers saying... What? That Jeff had emailed to try and book a visit with me. What? But surely they wouldn't let him, would they? I don't know. Well, even if they did, you'd refuse. Wouldn't you? Gran? Yes, 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 of course I would. You're safe now. 
You can't let him get to you, all right? No, I won't. cross at one point. I was really scared. All right. We need to tell Imran. The more people who speak up about what he's like, the better. Thank God Tim came home when he did. He managed to calm him down. It'll be driving him mad to know that anyone's got any sympathy with Gran. Do you think? Yeah. It tarnishes his carefully cultivated image as the nice guy. He's really rattled. The same day that you went, he tried to contact her to arrange a visit. Really? Is that allowed? Imran assures me it's not, but... It shows how desperate he's getting. He can't manipulate my gran in prison and he can't handle it. But if he gets her on her own, he can start playing mind games again. I want to help, but I'm sort of dreading it. Because he's so poorly. What if he has a seizure? He'll be fine. Right. See ya. Yeah, see you Am I still in the doghouse? Yeah, you will be if you talk to Sally like that again. I won't. I know you're under a lot of pressure, Dad, but you can't take it out on Sally. Understood. I know you think she's a traitor. We'll try and rise above it, OK? Well, I saw her and Alia outside before. They were plotting, I could tell. They're paranoid. No, she's got Sally thinking I'm some kind of bully. I'm on your side, Dad, you know that. What's against the world, eh? Well, I just hope nobody else believes Alia's lies. Well, they won't. I have to keep reminding myself that Yasmin did this, not me. <laughs> I know she knows what happened and why. But people are filling her head with nonsense. You just wouldn't expect Sally to fall for any of this. Well, I know it upsets you, but she knows my views, and I've told her that she's got to put family first, OK? Yeah. So to hell with Alia and all her scheming. You just concentrate on getting better. Well, I'm feeling a lot better, actually. Good. Yeah. You're right. I should rise above all of this. Be the big man. I just want to put it all behind me and try and get back to normal. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. In fact, I'm thinking about going back to work. Really? Are you sure that's wise? Oh, well, I'm still one of the owners. Maybe it's time some people were reminded of that. Hey. Right. You've done a night shift. I've got a half day. So, A, we could go and do something nice together, or B, we can carry on arguing about your dad. He just thinks, and I agree with him, that we should be united. Option B, then. And I can't go out, cos I'm going to go to Speed Dial and give me Dad some moral support. Speed Dial? Why? What's he doing there? Cos he works there and he's feeling a lot better and he's decided to go in. Well, Alia won't be very happy. Well, tough. He just wants to get things back to normal. Well, it's a bit insensitive. I mean, provocative even, given the situation. Well, he works there. He part owns it. And like I just said, he wants to get back to normal. He can't analyse everything that he does. Well, I think I can. You know, he asked to visit Yasmin. He didn't, did he? Alia told me. Well, why would he want to visit her? Try and get under her skin. Yeah, some good stuff here for you, on you done. So you changed your mind about going back to work? No, no, I'm just on my way. Well, there's no mad rush, is there, Dad? We've already talked about this. Well, I'm just a bit worried, cos, you know, Ali's not going to welcome you back with open arms, is she? That place is my livelihood. It's time we all moved on. So is it true that you've asked Yasmin if he can visit her? Word travels fast. Ali told Sally. Talk of the wash house again, I see. I did. Yeah. There was a stupid spur of the moment thing I got me wrist slapped. Why would you want to see her? I need to see her. I love her and I miss her. I know you think it's daft, but when I heard about Sally going to visit, I got jealous. I just wanted to see she was OK. I can't help but care about her. OK. And maybe you're right about Alia. Maybe I should go in on my own and you should stay away. Don't want her to feel ganged up on. Yeah, OK. Thanks. Oh, Ty, I've been looking forward to this all week. Yeah, it's nice just to get out, isn't it? Yeah, and spend time together. Get a chance to talk. 
Evelyn's a dark horse, isn't she? <laughs> Say that again. She definitely fancies Arthur, whatever she says. Well, at least we haven't changed the locks on this place. I'm sorry. We're full. Permanently. Oh, I haven't come here to eat. I've come here to work. <laughs> You're kidding. I know. After what your grand did to me, people would understand if I never wanted to set foot in this place again. But this is my livelihood. I part on the place. You're doing this to provoke me. Well, you're going to have to try a lot harder. Now go. You're the only ones who have family drama. I am trying to rebuild my life. After I was abused for months and then <laughs> assaulted. But somehow, I'm the bad guy. Abused? by my tiny, defenceless grant. I don't think so. This is our business. I'm prepared to let bygones be bygones. You can't bully my grant, so you want to bully me. There is no way you're working here. You threatening me, son? No, I have a legal right to be here. You can't just walk back in like nothing's happened. I am here because I feel strong enough to get back to work. Do what you want. But I'm not going to be working with you, and I'm not going anywhere. He probably does have a right to be here. I'm going to ring him, run and check. Hey, Meg, just to say, I know what you're going through. I've been there. Really? Yeah, his ex abused him and lied about it. She tried to turn everyone against me, and people don't believe you because it's your missus, but it happens. I had no idea. Well, look, I'm, I'm just across the road if you need to talk. Yeah, thanks. It's not easy being public enemy number one. Hang in there, eh? Yeah. yeah. Hey. It's on the house, go on. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there are a lot of people out there on my side. Well, that's because they don't know the truth. I do. My grand does and the court will. Yeah. Did I tell you she's got a job in the library? Yeah, it's amazing how confident she's getting now she's not under your thumb. She's got more freedom in prison than she ever had with you. Jeff, can't you see? This isn't going to work. Then Ali better find somewhere else to work, then. Because I'm going nowhere. <laughs> Off. He's really pushing my buttons. It's like I said on the phone. He's the co-owner of this place. He has every right to be here. He's probably banking on you walking rather than work with him. Well, there's no way I'm going to leave the family business to him. Just, just try and be civil, OK? Even if he's golding, you stay cool. It's very, very important that you stay out of trouble. I'm not stupid. I know there's nothing you'd like more than for me to make a scene. Is there anything you can do to help? Not really. I'm busy working on the defence witnesses. All right. Well, my grand's phoning me at half three. I'll let her know the latest. You don't have to stick around. I'm worried you might murder him. Don't tempt me. Given up already, have you? Good riddance. I don't answer to you. I'm going on a break. I'm going to check the till while he's out. Because don't come cheap. Mm. Have you seen my phone? No. Well, it was here a minute ago. Oh, my grand's going to ring soon. Hello, Alia? Hello? Alia? Hello, Yasmin. Oh, where, where's Alia? Why are you answering her phone? I borrowed it. I had to talk to you. I miss you. And I've got a proposition for you. Prison could be a distant memory if you promise to come back to me. What do you mean? Well, you could be a free woman. But I need your word that you will be my wife again. I, I can make the charges go away. Why would you do that? Well, you're my soulmate. The tomato sauce on my chip butty. I thought that too. But you have to promise not to say a word to anyone about this. I want you out and by my side. I, I know you must regret attacking me. Of course I regret it. I was scared. 
You terrified me. Well, that's what a lot of abusers say. They blame the victim. I, I, I didn't abuse you. I've got a scar on my neck that says otherwise. Listen, love. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. Force of habit. But you are. Deep down, you are still my love. Call me stupid, a glutton for punishment, but... I do love you, Yasmin. She'll worry if I don't answer her call. Right, retrace your steps. I've been standing here or clearing tables, that's all. You know, for months I thought I'd lost my signed copy of Changeling, and there it was, down the back of the sofa. You what? DJ Shadow. I taught you nothing about music. Oh. You got it? No, just 50p. Must play it. It's all yours. Right, so I have a phone in my hand. Uh, Imran came in, we talked, and then I put it down, I think, and... Where's Jeff? Please stop tormenting me. I am being completely honest. I want you home with me. Why would you want that? You can't just turn your feelings off like a tap. You're my Yazzie, you always will be. How can I trust you? Everything you did to me. I looked after you because you needed looking after. You're drinking, you're spending. You were out of control. You made me think that. We can move forward if you just face up to the truth, please. The truth is I felt bullied and terrified in my own home. But that wasn't my fault. Let me be your husband. Let me care for you. Let me love you. I know what your idea of love looks like. Please just leave me alone. I'm not letting you go and have it out with him. Not in your own. I'm not going to be scared of that stupid old man. Are my ears burning? Have you got my... I knew it. Sorry for borrowing it. How dare you? How dare I what? Speak to my wife? I've told you how much I miss her. And I've told you I don't believe you. And I've told you I love your gran. You love yourself and you love power and that is it. Don't you talk to me like that. This isn't the place, is it? I do love her and I'll prove it to you. Oh, you know, he keeps banging on about how he still loves her. How can you love somebody when they've done that to you? Yeah, well, I'm not sure he does. Oh, don't start with that again, Sally. My dad's hurting. At least when she's sent down, we can stop arguing about it. My dad can move on. You know she might not go to prison. Why not? They've got a good case against her. Can't see her walking away from this. Well, Imran is setting up a strong defence. How do you know? I don't know how to tell you this. I, I don't know if I should tell you, but I've been asked to be a witness. Why? You weren't there when she hit him? Not for the prosecution, for Imran. Ali has asked me. Well, I hope you told him where to stick it. I'm going to do it, Tim. <sighs> it's for Yasmin. Oh, so she's more important than I am, is she? You know I can't stand back and watch her get sent to prison, not after what happened to me. But that's completely different, love. You were innocent. Now, I know what you're thinking, me dad, and it's hard to swallow, but please don't do this, Sally. It'll rip us apart. I've got to tell the truth. So that's it, is it? Oi. Yes? Since when did Bar begin with a K? You should be. Don't deprive people of Emily. That one set in Thailand's the closest most of us are going to get to going there. <laughs> Apologies, I'm not exactly with it today. <laughs> Screaming Stacy kept you awake all night and all. <laughs> no, no. I've just spoken to my husband. What, the one you tried to offer? Is that allowed? He intercepted my call. He wanted to tell me, above all else, that he loves me. Heavy. Lying, though, isn't he? <laughs> I'm not sure. <clears throat> Same as my ex. <clears throat> Treats me like dirt and then begs me to come back. 
And you know what's funny? I always go. Why? Why do you go back? Oh, mental health nursing here reckons it's to do with my self-esteem, self-worth, whatever. I... I'm free from Jeff, and part of me, most of me, feels so thankful, but there is a small part that misses him terribly. Well, do you really think a holiday is the answer, though? Uh, well, make every day count, isn't it? What's the alternative? We put our lives on hold? Well, that's what some of us are doing. How do you mean? Well, me and Toya, a little while ago, we applied to become foster parents. Now, she always wanted to be a mum, and it didn't happen, so... Right, well, I think fostering's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, so did we, but... It's just that once Ollie got sick, Toya decided to put everything on hold. And she thought that if a kid got put with us now, then that would... Well, it would really upset Leanne. Oh, Leah. Right. Well, I'm aware that I probably sound really selfish even telling you this, and maybe I am. It's just... You know, well, now that Leanne's a bit more positive, I thought maybe it'd be OK. And I'm gutted for you, mate. I really am. You and Leanne and... I'm aware that there are much, much bigger things going on right now and that we are not important. Me and Toya really wanted this. You don't sound selfish. Thanks for coming to me, OK? Why don't we get uh, Tori and Land together and they can have a chat and we go from there. Imran! Do you want to know what that disgusting pig has done now? I don't really know what's brought me here. Do you have any more evidence relating to your case? No, far from it. The opposite. I'm sorry, Mr Metcalf. I don't understand. I miss my wife. I miss her very much. I do feel for you. If you'd like me to put you in touch with someone you can talk to... I want her at home. With me. She should be with me. Jeff, your wife hurt you. She could have killed you. She didn't mean it. You're the victim here. And yes, it must be hard getting used to life without her, but you weren't safe, were you? No. Let me give you the number for a domestic violence charity. I don't need that. I need my wife. If we're together, we can save our marriage. She's looking at prison time for your attempted murder. I don't care about that anymore. I want her with me. What if I drop the charges? Well, that's not up to you. And if the CPS has strong evidence, then the case will go to court as planned. And you might be required to testify. But well, I can say what I want on the stand. As long as what you say is the truth. Of course. I am hijacking phone calls, but you need to remember that it's all a load of rubbish. Okay? Don't forget what he did to you. Well, that being said, what I found out today is going to make you any less confused. What is it? Well, I spoke to the police about Jeff taking Ali's phone, and I found something out. Now, nothing's set in stone yet, but uh, I thought you need to know. Well, for goodness sake, spit it out. Jeff's spoken to the police. He's saying he may not want to give evidence. Now, did he say anything to you about this over the phone? I could hardly hear him. Right. If he does try that again, don't get sucked in. Of course not. Anyway, it's not up to him. Now, the CPS can still go ahead with the charge, but he is going to make things a lot more difficult for them if he chooses not to give evidence to support them. What does that mean? Potentially. No case and no trial. Nina, is, uh, is that coffee on? Oh, sorry. Totally went out my head. Two minutes. Oh, by the way, I'm loving this little guy now. Now I've got to know him. Yeah, you know, that making new friend thing's not a bad idea. Not exactly what I had in mind, but who am I to judge? See, me, he's taking you crazy on a shot. Did Gran tell you what Jeff said on the phone? No. He's definitely up to something. Well, whatever Jeff's motives are, this might actually prove to be quite useful for Yasmin. Now, if he decides not to testify, then the CPS are going to have to review the case, and they might decide not to proceed with it. Dibble won't be best pleased. True. 
Better suit Jeff, though. Cheers. Well, I can't see him wanting to stand up in court. He had eight people seeing him for what he is. Well, he likes to play the whole cheeky chappy thing, doesn't he? Yeah. Now, a lot of people are going to be very shocked when they find out the truth about him. I hate this. He's still running the show, still controlling everyone. Well, if it means Yasmin gets to walk away from all this, then what does it matter? Well, he's so arrogant. I bet he thinks this is going to help him worm his way back in with her again. Well, he's totally deluded if he thinks she'd ever take him back. Nah. Now she's got the measure of him now. What a garden, eh, Dad? Yeah, Yasmin loves pansies. Well, forget about her, she's history. You don't fool me. I know exactly what you're doing. Trying to make the world a brighter place if it's all right with you. You can make all the grand gestures you like. It's not going to make one bit of difference. Don't start, are you? What are you on about? How is this a grand gesture? Well, probably best if we just... Him. Saying that he might not testify, playing the big man. But he said what? Why would he want to do that? Well, I'm guessing you want to portray yourself as some sort of hero. Sacrificing yourself to save her. You've completely missed the point. Yasmin obviously has mental health issues. As her husband, I'm duty-bound to help her. You're serious? Hmm. I made a vow. In sickness and in health. I can't turn my back in her now. Yeah, because she'll stab you in it. As I said, I'm her husband. I still love her. It doesn't just stop because you're forced apart. Listen to yourself. You're not some pair of star-crossed lovers. Mate, he's a wind-up merchant. Don't let him get to you. Come on. Why don't you go indoors, Faye? You don't want to have to listen to this. Cow bag. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got some sad fantasies about getting Gran back, you've got no chance. Yeah, that's enough. Leave him alone. It's too late. She knows exactly what you are, and she hates you for it. How many times has Imran told you? Keep your trap shut. Play everything by the ball. How can I? I can't believe he's still pretending to be a loving husband. Whatever happens, he's never going to let her go, is he? Look at that, she tried to kill you. If things had been different, you'd have been six feet under by now. Well, luckily, I'm a lot tougher than I look. Whatever you may think about Yasmin, she's not a bad person. Oh, she's terrible. I may not have the power to drop the case, but I am not going to be the one sending her to prison. Look, this is mad. What's made you change your mind? Uh. I had a lot of time to think, stuck in that hospital. And since I came out, I've been on my own a lot. Now, I'm no doctor, but like I said, I've come to the conclusion that Yasmin is not right in the head. Well, that's not your problem. We cannot abandon the ones we love because things get a bit tough, can we? All right, so if it does work out and she does get away with it, you wouldn't really take her back, would you? Share a house with her and all that caboodle. That'd be a massive risk. She's my wife and I love her. It's as simple as that. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before I get her back home. She needs to be with me, back where she belongs. Imran told me the latest about Jeff. I was so shocked when I heard. Me too. Did Jeff not mention any of this when he spoke to you? No. It, it was a, a bad line. I could hardly hear you. I've been worried sick. Everyone picking over the bones of my life. I know. I, I just want this whole sorry situation over and done with. I don't blame you. It really made me sick. Maybe he's genuinely trying to forgive me. What? Well, doesn't this prove that he really is sorry for his part in all of this. <sighs> for goodness sake, Gran. All it proves is that he hasn't changed. He's still manipulating you. I don't know. He can't stand the fact that he can't control you anymore. This is his way of dragging you back in. Please, please promise me, when you get released, you won't take him back. Will you? Will you? There is no point in discussing this now. There's a long way to go before I get out. I just want to go home. Get everything back to normal. Get that down, yeah. Thank you. Good. 
It's wonderful. <laughs> I've botched up pretty much everything else in my life, but when it comes to making a brook, this girl has skills. <laughs> you seem miles away. That husband of yours still doing your head Something like that. He's now saying he doesn't want to testify against me. And the punchline is? This is for realsies. He claims it is. So why the face like a wet weekend? Jeff says he wants me back. <laughs> and you want him back? Of course not. <laughs> What's your problem? You get out, you get rid. I don't know, I'm confused. I still have so many questions. So ask. How? You leave that to your Auntie Lucy. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <coughs> Told you I'd come through for you. Isn't this illegal? But you're in prison, love. It's a bit late to be worrying about stuff like that. Besides, <laughs> I'll make sure you don't get pinched. Thank you. I'm giving you special mates rates. So that's one pet stick. That's deodorant to you. <laughs> and one, no, uh, two packets of biscuits, custard creams preferably, and a bag of sweets. Surprise me. <laughs> um, hey, that's a good deal. No, it's... It's not that. I'm having second thoughts, to be honest. Mm. You're worried about letting inside your head again? Exactly. Well, all the more reason to do this. You can't have him keep controlling you. Hm. A huge lake, amply fed by rivers carrying meltwater from the mountains to the north. <laughs> These lay down the sandy deposits in which the venom's mouse now makes its home. Whatever you're selling, I'm not into me. Best. Guess me. I'm, I'm on a friend's mobile. So I can't speak too long. Jeff? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's just so lovely to hear your voice again. Be strong. I assure you, the feeling's not mutual. I understand. So, how are you? I didn't call to make small talk. According to Imran, you've spoken to the police about not testifying against me. Is that true? Yes. You've actually told them that? I floated the idea. You haven't decided, then? No, it, it, it's not that. I'm... Well, I'm still trying to pluck up the courage. How do you mean? I mean that when I tell them I won't testify, they're going to throw the kitchen sink at me. I could be charged with perjury. I didn't realise. Yeah, well... Yeah, police tend to get a bit narked when their star witness suddenly develops amnesia. And you're still willing to do it? That doesn't make sense. Well, it does to me. But I nearly killed you. That wasn't you. No, the Yasmin I know is the kindest, most gentle person in the world. The person who attacked me was someone else. Someone I sadly helped create. Yeah, is you st still there? I'm still here. How, how can I be sure this isn't just another one of your mind games? What do you think I enjoy admitting I made mistakes? No. Look, all I can guarantee is two things. If we still go to trial, you'll be found not guilty. And when you come home, things will be different. How can you possibly be that deluded, Jeff? Even if I were to be released, and it's huge, if, how can we find a way back together again? 
I love you. That's how. That's not enough. And I'm going to get some professional help. You're just telling me what I want to hear. That's not true. I, 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 I want to believe you. So tell me how I make that possible. Okay, I'll, I'll play along. Why do you think you need help, Jeff? Well, I, I've obviously got issues. Yes, you, you don't need a psychiatrist to tell you that. Yeah, and because I finally realised that everything you suffered, I suffered with Tessa. Tim's mum? Yeah. She took everything. She made me despise myself. And then... I met you. Go on. For the first time in years, I felt hope. Hope for the future, hope for myself. But the better my life got, the more I became convinced that you'd seen me for what I really am and show me the door. Losing you meant losing hope again, and, and I, I couldn't deal with that. We've got company. Um, yeah, yeah, I've, got, I've, got, I've got to go. Oh, well... Look, uh, promise me you'll call again tomorrow. I promise. Uh, Yasmin, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not being what you deserve. 